Hello there. This is Janie. Um, J E. I'm sorry. J P E P P Y O one is my YouTube channel, and I just wanted to show you some dangles that I made. Some um, uh, little um purse dangles, and um, a while back, um, Robin Mud had sent me um in some happy mail. She had sent me these wooden um spools. And what I did is I painted them with a um, metallic colored paint, and then I um, added a little charm up at the top, a little spacer bead, and then down at the bottom um, I um, added some beads, and um, I just used a mixture of different colors. This is the green and gold when I have a little um, owl on the bottom. And then um, this one I think is really pretty. I love this color combination. It's um, aqua and the coral color. And then I have a little angel wing hanging from it also. And then um, this one has um, the little flower. It looks like a bell flower at the end. And then a little wooden brown bead. And then uh, brown and um, beige mixed bead. And then this one, I had a little dice that I wanted to do something with, so I put him on the end, and then I put some crystal beads here and here, and then in the middle is a wooden um, bead. It's a yellow tone. And this one, I think, turned out really pretty. Um, I put some bead caps on um, these dark green crystal beads, and then I put this bead in the center that's um, a mixture of um, green and, and blue. It's really pretty. And so, um, and then this one just has um, some green and some gold and some green. It looks like, um, they look like crystal or like marble that has been um, cooked or fired and it made it kind of um, crystal-y looking. So anyway, this is what, what it turned out to be and um, I thought it was kind of cute. And then I have another one that I made and... Just a moment. I should have gotten these off ahead of time. Well, hecky doo doo. Let's see if I can get this one off easier. Here we go. This is another one that I made, um, and I painted this bead a gold color. And I also put a little um, spacer on the top, and then I've got the little hook so that you can hang it to, on your purse or on your um, happy planner or whatever. And then I put a, the same um, little spacer, um, metallic spacer on the bottom, and then I, um, I did some different dangles on here. Um, this one is in the um, pinks and the purples with the um, silver bead in between each each color and um, then this one is just a mixture I've got a, a, a little it looks like a die but it's not it's just a little square bead and then um, I had some of these little beads left over and so I use those up and on this I've got a little pair of sunglasses dangling from the end let's see over here I've got um, the yellow crystals in the center and then just some brown beads, um, cat eye beads on the bottom and the top. And then this one, it's got a little dragonfly on the bottom of it. I got these dragonflies at Michael's. Um, they come on a string and they really make pretty earrings. And this was just an extra one that I had left over. And then I used um, a couple of pearls and this is a real pretty... Um, uh, I don't know what kind of shape you call that, but it's just really pretty. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. So they really turned out cute. Oh, and this one has got um, kind of a gray colored um, crystal bead. And then I put the rondelles in, um, in between this dark blue bead. And then on the bottom I put another one of those. Um, it looks like a little star on the end of it. Let's see if I can do it this way and you can see it. Okay, let me get you another one.
Just call me Fumble Fingers. I've got them hooked on a wire basket and it's hard to get them off. I should have gotten them off ahead of time. This is a different one that I made here. This is I saw this on someone's YouTube channel. I can't remember. Um, on a, um, she had a um, tutorial on how to do these, and um, they're buttons. I used buttons, and then um, I just used the two holes. Now some of these buttons have got four holes, but they're in between um, the ones that have two holes. And so what I did was put two wires down, and um, then I attach them with a, um, oh heck, I can't even think what you call it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. The little round thing that, um, that you use to, um, jump rings. I'm sorry, my mind went blank there for a minute, but I attached it with, um, the two of them together with one jump ring. And then, um, I put two, um, dangles coming from the bottom of it. Uh, this one has a little angel on the, the bottom. And then I used um, some really pretty um, crystal beads with spacers, um, bead caps on each end, and then just a, um, this is kind of a brown color. So I used a brown bead in between. And then this one has a little heart on the bottom. Let's see if I can turn it the right way. There we go. And um, then it's got um, some different colored beads. Hope you can see that okay. So then all together, this is how it looks. See there? Turned out kind of cute. All right, one more. Oh, that one was easy to get off. And this one also I painted a bronze color. And um, I put some different types of beads on there. I don't like this one as good as I do some of the others. But anyway, it's a mixture. And I used some of the things that I had left over. Here's another dragonfly on this one. And a little, um, looks like a leopard print bead. And then some crystals. And um, this is a round bead, but it's got, it's um, clear, but it has little stripes of different colors in it. And then on this one, I just mixed up some beads and some silver spacers. Can you see those? Okay. And then um, here, I'm sorry, my hand's in the way. Um, this one is just a mixture of reds and golds. And then this one's kind of weird looking, but it, it's a... It's pretty, but it's just different looking. Um, these are little pink wooden beads. And then this is another one of those clear beads with the stripes on them. But it's flat. Um, it's round, but it's it's flat on each end. And then this is just a long um, crystal that looks like a um, teardrop. And then I have a little shiny um, green looking bead at the top. If you can see that. In this one, I just used some beads that I had bought from Michaels that were on a string, and they're pretty colors. It's pink and yellow and um, kind of a reddish color, and just pretty, pretty colors, summery looking colors. Can you see those? Okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, and here I had another one of those die, um, and I... Um, Fix those like this. It's kind of a, a grayish colored crystal bead, round bead, and then the little dice in the middle. And then this is how this one turned out. Okay. I've got one more if I can get him off the hook here. He wants to hang on like a fish does sometimes. There we go. All right, this one I painted the um, bead green. It's a uh, metallic green. It's really pretty. And then I did a mixture of beads on here. Um, this is just a mixture mixture of gold and red with the um, spacers on there. And here's another one that I just mixed up with some gold and bronze and then the silver spacers in the middle. This one is kind of a... Um, different. It's got, um, I've got the rondelles and the pearls and the wooden pink beads and then a little star in the middle. 
this one has um, yellow crystals and then this different looking green um, bead and then I centered this little green wooden one in the center of that one. Let's see what else we've got here. Oh, and then this yellow one with a little yellow butterfly on it and the little um, silver bead on the end and on the top. And this is how that one looks. Let's see if you can see that okay. It was fun making these and I used up a lot of my um, beads that I just have extras of and I need to do something because I've got a lot of beads I need to do some things with. So I hope you like this. I hope you all, all are having a good um, Saturday and um, I hope to see you again later and goodbye from Georgia.